everyone so you can see this in my hand this is actually a mustard green which we also call as light patta and in our language we call it call it as sarso ka sag and please let me know ki what you call it in your native language so let us learn about this okay so this today we have two types of mustard greens okay okay so one is this green color green color it means it is rich in chlorophyll and the other one is purple color so this purple color is due to the pigment known as anthocyanin and this anthocyanin is uh, is actually an antioxidant okay and this anthocyanin is actually water soluble so today we are going to eat this leaf so while eating before eating we are going to show you practically ki why we call this anthocyanin pigment as uh, water soluble Okay so now we are going to boil this as a result when we added those purple leaves in boiling water the anthocyanin pigment present in those leaves got solubilized in the water hence turning the color of the water as purple color through this we can also understand that the pigments or anthocyanin are heat sensitive or heat labile that is if we want to get colorful vegetables and we are growing in warm condition then the vegetables will lose its color and we will not get colorful fruits or vegetables anthocyanin is an antioxidant but what do we mean by antioxidant so antioxidants are the molecules okay are molecules which neutralize the free radicals so what are free radicals so free radicals are the um, atoms which uh, which lacks electron okay so they are unstable in nature so the this free radicals are formed in the, inside our body during various metabolic processes which is natural but uh, the number of free radicals increase due to our um, unhealthy diet then due to pollution and due to exposure to uh, uv rays so due to all these reasons the free radicals increase in our body okay so the free radicals are unstable in nature so they try to neutralize themselves by uh, oxidizing or by taking the electrons from the healthy cells of our body okay so the free radicals so free radicals are the unstable uh, molecules okay so they, those are unstable in nature and antioxidants are the molecules which are stable but they can donate the electrons to the free radicals so if they will donate the electrons to the free radicals the free radicals will be stable in nature and they are not going to harm our the healthy cells of our body so like this the antioxidant prevent us from cancer causing diseases okay so uh, i want to add one more thing ki antioxidant provide electrons to the free radicals without being Uh, unstable in nature okay so they themselves do not get unstable but they make stable uh, the free radicals